What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe, and this is Eve Online. And for once, we're not on Pixie and Malera, the other character. Um, I jumped over onto one of my Galente characters who is still kind of at the starter area to talk about industry and manufacturing just because I've got a blueprint here that I can access since my other characters with blueprints, their blueprints are a goodly distance away from them. So, um, so I figured I would start here and we can talk about like a very, at a very basic level, the industry window and what manufacturing looks like and entails. In, in, in um, I, I haven't spent great quantities of time doing research or getting into a lot of what is involved here, but uh, at very least I can help you get to the point where you can understand it from a 10,000 foot view, understand it at least as well as I do, um, and be functional. And then if you want to learn more, we can learn more together and, and I can dedicate a character to manufacturing and we can just kind of get, get into it on that level. So. Um, the industry window is opened by this little icon over on the left here. When you hover over it, it says industry. So that should tell you what you need to do. Um, and that's where your manufacturing occurs. You can see here there are three tabs. There's blueprints, facilities, and jobs. And it starts out wherever it is you left off previously. So if you're in jobs here and you, you come back in jobs, you may be like, where are my blueprints? I've got all my blueprints here. Oh. Uh, they're in blueprints. So also as we get into it um, There are some little pull downs here that you can further segment and, and sort of cordon off wh what you're looking at. So um, If you're in a corporation or an alliance and you are sharing blueprints with other people in a given and shared facility uh, You'll probably want to use this pull down this owned by me dictates really obviously the things owned by you. I would guess your corporation and your alliance will also have an option here uh, if you have that available to you. Um, all facilities, this shows kind of like all the blueprints that you own spread across the universe and as opposed to whatever you have right in this station. Generally, you'll probably be most interested in what's in this station, but there are reasons why you might want to see what's in other facilities as well. Now, once you get into manufacturing on a grander scale and you have, I don't know, things being made and researched all over the place, um, it may behoove you to, to sort of segment off what you're looking at. But for now, this is just what I have in this station. And just to be specific, blueprints that aren't in the inventory location that, that it's pointing at right here um, won't show up on your list. So I have, you know, five blueprints and you can see five blueprints here, but they are in the item hanger. But if I happen to drag and drop them and I, they're in my ship now, um, and let's see here, I should be able to refresh this. Uh, let's look at the current station. Well, it seems like it's okay as long as I have it, if I've got it in my ship, but that doesn't seem right. But anyway, um, Usually they want it in the item hanger. If you have a container where you're sort of like organizing all of your, your blueprints in, then you can pick the container so that they're in there. Um, all blueprints, if you only want to look at the blueprint originals, and we can talk about that in just a moment, as opposed to the copies and anything else that you might be working with there. Um, we'll just go back to all. And then you can go and look at the specific type, whether it's a charge like ammunition, if it's a module or a ship or rigs or whatever, that you can sort of segment it that way. So, so that's what you've got here. It tells you what facility, what, what station, um, and what inventory location you can see over here. Um, so that you can see, okay, I want to get to this, and now you know where that is, and then you can go, you know, sort of siphon and filter your way down from there. So, so that's, that's this base blueprint window. Uh, without getting into what you see here, I'm going to try to make these a little bit shorter and quicker. Facilities, this shows you the facilities at the station that you are in, or um, I believe it also shows generally other stations in the system. Um, and possibly... Yeah, I'm not sure. So I'll have to look into that. But uh, definitely what's what's in the station that you're in. And I would guess that it's also going to pull from um, what, yeah, what you've got. So let's see. 
that was with it that was in the current system and now you can see what's within 10 jumps all right so now that we've got more on this list we can see what we have available to us within some relative distance within 10 jumps and it shows the jumps over here on the left um, but these are the facilities that you're going to be using to manufacture that you're going to do conduct research uh, efficiency research, time research, copying your blueprints, invention, and reactions and things. And then it tells you what the facility type is, whether it's a station or a player station, or and who the, o the owner is. Now, why do you care about this? Well, if you want to do material research, you're going to need to be in a station that has one of those facilities. So one way to go about finding one is to do something like this open it up to the region or you know whatever range you're willing to travel and see what's available to you and then um and then hover over things and see see what the costs are okay because as you manufacture you can see here system cost index 1.58 percent the manufacturing tax everything that you do in this game is going to be taxed on the transactional side so manufacturing standard tax is 0.9% at this station okay and in the station that we're in if we want to manufacture anything there's a 10% tax right so this this Fortizar is a player run station and they're trying to lure you to do your work there with a low manufacturing task uh, tax and I would imagine that um, that the same can be said for research right you can see here it's 10% research if we go to use a uh, a regular station or an NPC corporation but if we go to this player station it's still 0.9 percent 0.9 percent for uh, time efficiency and 0.9 percent for copying and and that's just sort of across the board so if you hover over each of these you will understand kind of what your costs are um, and some of them may actually have boosts so this is Skeenan's R&D, while the, yeah, here we go, material efficiency research. So job duration, they have modifiers. So just structure role bonus, they give you installed rig bonuses. I don't know exactly what all of these things mean, so if you don't, don't feel bad. But look at the uh, efficiency research tax, uh, tax and that's 0.5%, so that's nice. But this one is definitely offering boosts. Now, why the system cost index is as high as it is, I'm not entirely sure. But this station was clearly meant for R&D, and I would guess that they've got a manufacturing facility here with boosts specific to manufacturing. And you can see here that it's it's targeted the the boost. It's, it only supports manufacturing of these things, right? So you don't you can't can't. Uh, I don't see carriers on there but anyway if you hover over stuff in this window basically your takeaway here is that you can hover over things and see what the bonuses or taxes are and base your decisions on where you want to do your research so um, this will affect our future videos and I'll need to, to build on that so um, before we get into jobs because I don't have any active jobs jobs would be if I wanted to build something once I hit start it would show up under jobs. If I wanted to do some research, I can't because the facility, uh, let's see here, activity not supported at this facility, right? So these are the, the research types. Um, but if I wanted to do research here, I could start it and then it would show up under jobs as well. So this is just tracking what's going on actively. When your job is completed, then you hit the deliver button and it kicks it back to you into your item hanger or I think maybe even where your blueprint is kept so so that's the basic trade window let's get a little bit more into um, the each of these different functions and what they mean in future videos we can talk about uh, blueprint originals blueprint copies and what those mean and everything from there on so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video